Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is our new uh, relay board, uh, our new custom relay board. Uh, it's an RF relay board which has two modes, monetary and latching. Using the three pin jumper down here, if you place the jumper on power up, of course, uh, as soon as you power it up, it's seven to nine volts. If you have the jumper on the rightmost pins, you're in monetary mode and actually says COM and MON on the board on the right hand side, the middle and right hand side, and then COM and LAT on the left for latching mode. So I powered it up in monetary mode and uh, B, the B button on the transistor is, is relay one, D is two, uh, A is three, and C is four. And you'll see the four on board um, LEDs. So let's just press it. When I hold B, uh, relay one will turn on and it will, it will turn off when I, t when I take my finger off it. Monetary mode. D, A, C. And the actual, the, uh, the relays are, are rated for high current and uh, high wattage and the, uh, the traces on the board are very thick too. So uh, I made sure to make the uh, traces to the outputs very thick. Now, if you don't know much about relays, there's th the, these are S single pole double throw relays, so they've got a common output, a normally uh, closed output, and a normally open output. And when the relay's off, the common pin is connected to the, it's just a big switch, a big mechanical switch. Uh, the common pin is connected to the uh, NC pin, CO is connected to NC, and when the relay is activated, the common pin disconnects from the NC pin and connects to the NO pin normally open. Anyway, that aside, uh, when I actually make the assembly video, I'll talk more about that. But each relay has its own output, its own uh, terminal block for output, and the outputs are labeled uh, NO, CO, NC. So very easy to use as a switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off, and I'm going to take the uh, the header jumper and put it on the COM and LAT uh, input pins. So I'm going to power back up. Now we're in latching mode, so I'm going to press B, and it latches high. I'm going to press B again, low. I'm going to press B, D, A, C. Now all of them are on, and I'm going to do it. We're going to turn them off backwards. C A D B, C A D B. So let's turn uh, relays one and three on. Let's turn uh, two and four on. Let's turn them all off. Pretty neat, huh? This is the receiver board right here. I did one little mistake on the printed circuit board, unfortunately. Um, the receiver isn't receiving five volts, so that's one thing that I'm going to have to add in the uh, assembly video is to add one jumper wire to connect power, five volts, to the receiver. So, very easy to use, fun to put together. I'm actually quite proud of the, uh, the job I did uh, designing the, uh, the footprint for the circuit board. Uh, you can also mount it. There's four mounting holes. They are small, but you can mount it relatively easily. So I just wanted to show this off, but we'll be making an assembly video soon. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, new kits out today, so I want to I wanna show them to you before I make the assembly videos and integrate them into my uh, website and my eBay store, which can be found at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com, respectively. Thanks for watching, everyone.